Hi class, in this lecture here, what I want to do is I want to walk you through some of the challenge exercises in section 1.6 of your textbook. Okay, so here's the first one. Um, this one's talking about which data set has the largest measure of spread. Well, if you look here, there, there's always this inclination to be like, oh, well, look at this, this A here. This has the highest graph. This must have the largest standard deviation. But actually, you have to look at the deviation across the X values here. And it looks like the one that has the largest variation of X values is actually the green one here. Okay, so it's C. So we got it. All right, let's try this one. Okay. Um, this one is saying um, the following output is from a sample of median home prices in various states. So what they give you is they give you a bar chart, a box plot, and a column of the descriptive statistics. So it just says, what is the standard deviation? Well, you can see it's right here. It's 168.444. Okay, and what does the standard deviation represent? Well, it represents the typical difference between a data value and the mean. All right, and what is the range? Well, the range is actually, it's not given here, but it's, I'm gonna load up my calculator here. The range is just the difference between the maximum and minimum values. So it's 639 minus 137, and you get 502. All right, what does it represent? Well, it just represents the, the difference between the maximum and minimum values, and we got it. All right, so looking here now, okay, and this looks like vehicles per household, and you see the descriptive statistics here, and it says, what is a better measure of spread for the data represented in the computer output here? And your two options here are the interquartile range and the standard deviation. In this case, it actually would be the interquartile range. Okay, so uh, for for this this type of data, the standard deviation is um, is not the best type of data. So for data that is skewed, like if you look up here, this is left skewed. Um, so for symmetric data, the standard deviation is better. But for skewed data like this, the interquartile range is better. All right, let's try this one here. So I'm just gonna do this first part here for you guys in the sheet, okay? So the spreadsheet uh, linked above here contains various housing and economic data for all 50 states. So what is the standard deviation for the difference between home values and mortgage balances in states in the Northeast? So this is what the, the spreadsheet looks like. So we wanna find the standard deviation for the difference between home values and mortgage balances. So that would be difference between home value and mortgage balances is right here. And then additionally, they said just in the Northeast. So we just wanted these. So you're going to go stdev.p because you have um, population data here. You're going to highlight all these. And it looks like it's going to be $38,713. So three eight seven one three. And we got it, saw the solution right there actually. So this is how you go through these challenge exercises, or some of them, I'm not gonna go through every single one, but uh, all of some of them in section 1.6 of your text.